Your mobile dustless blaster will come with a blast hose, a blast hose extension, an electric dead man, and an electric line extension. You need to put all this together for convenient use before your first blasting job. Cut open your blast hose, being very careful not to cut or score the hose. Unwrap and unroll it. Then unwrap and unroll the blast hose extension right beside it. Couple the only ends that can be coupled. Then screw the nozzle onto the threaded end of the blast hose. Now you need to attach the electric dead man, also known as the redhead. This is your blaster's trigger. Decide where to put the redhead. Some like it close to the nozzle, some like it farther back. Unroll the line and position it where you want, securing it with a clamp or sturdy zip ties. You're going to bundle the blast hose and electric line together with Velcro. Make sure to leave a generous amount of slack between the redhead and the first Velcro point, so that flexing and bending the blast hose doesn't put any stress on the electric line. Work your way down the line, adding Velcro every few feet. And don't pull it too tight, it needs to be able to flex. When you get to the junction, attach the extension and unroll it alongside the blast hose extension. Continue attaching every few feet until you're done. You should have a few extra feet of electric line on the coupling end. Now your blast hose is set up. All you've got to do is attach it to your pinch hose and attach the electric line to the control box.